Hello and welcome to the channel. In this video, I'll be showing you how to do a material change slash add a print pause in Bamboo Slicer, Prusa Slicer, and Cura Slicer based on this request I got in a previous video. Twitch, if you haven't watched that video, you totally should. It'll be up in the cards and in the description below. And in the meantime, let me show you how to program a print pause. So this is a simple box that I created, which if we slice, we can see that there's two internal holes right here that I've created with the assumption I'm dropping a magnet in. I'll start with this part and I'll slice it using my appropriate settings. Then here on the layer bar, I will scroll up until the layer at which I'd like to drop my magnet in. So I think I'd like to drop it in right before it gets covered up so that the magnet fully sits in the hole. Once I've selected my desired layer, I'll right click and add pause. And what this will do is tell the printer to pause at that specific layer, giving me the chance to drop a magnet in. And when I reslice the plate after after adding the pause, it highlights which layer this pause is programmed at. I've gone ahead and imported the STL I'd like to slice. This is an origami frog, believe it or not. It is a multi-material print. So assuming you have an AMS, first thing you want to do is add a second material. Then I will go ahead and go into this paint bucket, choose the height range, and then zoom in to the part so that I can see the geometry a little bit better. Increase the height range so that I can basically highlight the amount of layers that I want printed in the secondary color. So by doing this, using the paint bucket to select the layers or the certain geometry you want in a different material, the printer will know to change the color there. And this is done automatically using the AMS unit. It's as simple as that. So I might have geometry where I'd like to color something, but it's not necessarily in a planar level. So for example, I have this self-supporting cube keychain and I have a logo on the front that I'd like to color in a different color. So I would still use the paint bucket feature, but instead of using this layer, I'd give my crack at fill and basically fill the front faces of these letters as well as the edges. I could also try the circle and basically change the pen size and color in the areas I'd want in this other material. I find that fill is just more accurate than relying on my ability to use the mouse. Once I've basically filled in what I would like, I can slice the plate to get a preview of what this would look like. So as you can see, what I've colored in the pen is not necessarily as accurate, but the ones I use the fill tool in the worked a lot better. So in this case, by using color painting, I'm telling the printer already to do a material change where relevant. So in this case, it'll happen within the same layer as gray. But in the frog, for example, it's pretty distinct that my material change happens on a completely separate layer. So achieving a multicolor print like this would technically only be possible with the AMS unit because of how the colors are embedded within each layer. Without an AMS geometry that's flat like this where all my material changes are on specific layers. I can program this no problem and print without an AMS. So how I would achieve this is I only need one material basically set and then I'll slice my part in bamboo. Then on the side here, I will scroll to just a layer above where I want to do my material change, I'll right click and add a pause. So what this will do is the print will pause at the specific layer and then I will be able to basically unload and reload a new spool of filament for my printer to keep printing with. Some reasons why you might program a print pause is to achieve a multi-material or multi-color print on a printer that doesn't have an automatic feed system or to pause the print 
to drop in a magnet, a bolt, or to add a sheet of fabric or paper to print on top of. A perfect example of why you'd want a material change or a pause and print is some 3D printed origami. To which, if you're curious about this, definitely check out my video on it. And the link below goes to my Thingiverse page where I just uploaded a origami frog, base water bomb fold, a map fold, and a Brigham Young University compliant gripper. Alright, welcome to Prusa Slicer. I will start with the magnet example to show you how to add a print pause in Prusa, which is not the same thing as a material change pause. So starting with the magnet example, I've loaded the STL file and I'm going to go ahead and slice my part. Then I will drag my layer height bar over here on the right hand side to approximately the layer I'd like to pause my print. Then just like in Bamboo Studio, I'm going to right click on this little orange plus button and hit add pause. And the nice thing about Prusa Slicer is that you can enter a short message that will show up on the little printer LCD screen. So in this case, drop magnets is what I'll write. And hit slice again. I have this little icon right here that shows up and when I hover over it, it says pause print and then the M code that will get posted in the G code, which is M601. All right, let's program some material changes in Prusa Slicer. First, I'll import my file. We'll slice one of my origami business cards. This will be a three material print. I'll go ahead and hit slice so I see the layer bar on the right hand side just like this. And all the color coding right now is based on a singular material. I'm going to go ahead and scroll down in layers until my parallelograms start showing up above these living hinges that I have and then I'll hit the plus button. And what we'll notice is that by hitting the plus it adds a color change so now instead of the legend of colors we have two materials this white and green by clicking the plus it adds the m600 command into the g code so the printer knows to pause and wait for the user to unload and reload a new filament now i'd like to add another color change right when the letters show up but I'm actually out of geometry. In general, if you plan on doing material changes, like for printing something flat with a lot of colors, it's a good idea to extrude your geometry using multiples of the layer height you plan on slicing in. So two things I can do to fix this, I can either go back into my CAD, which in this case is on shape, and then increase how much I'm extruding my surface such that I have more meat to slice. Or I can actually change my layer height here in the slicer, make it something smaller, which means more layers at a smaller slice height than before, which will give me a little height and now I'm able to select the material change how I'd like. That's how you add a material change in Prusa Slicer. Now, for my origami, as you've seen in the video, this is actually a flex material and a PLA. So because the flex material prints at a higher temperature than the PLA, I will go into my filaments and set the nozzle and bed temperature to the appropriate print settings for this flex material. This flex material prints at a 245 degree nozzle and a 50 degree bed. So I would change that in here. So then all of this white colored flex material would print at that temperature and then my printer will hit the M600 code in the G code file, pause the print, prompt me to change my material and then after I've changed it to my PLA for the rigid parts of my origami, I will allow one layer of PLA to print very hot in order to bind to the flex material and then every other layer I will adjust the nozzle temperature to the PLA regular range which is between 215 and 220 so that after I do my my third material change, which is still PLA, it will print at that 215 to 220 mark. That's how I would go about printing two different materials. Now onto Cura Slicer. 
As a brief disclaimer, when I was screen recording my Cura demo in OBS Studio, I did not realize that the layer bar was cut off, so where it's relevant, I added it back into the video with a screenshot to help with explanation. Sorry about that, but everything should still make sense. Welcome to Cura Slicer. I have the Ender 3 currently selected as the printer. I'll go ahead and slice it and then preview my slice. Using the layer height bar, I'm going to decide whereabout I'd like to add a pause for, in this case, dropping in magnets, so I'm thinking about layer 70. I'll go up here and hit extensions, then post processing, and I'll select modify G-code. Then a window pops up called post processing plugin, and there's a button called add a script, so I'll click on this and then hit pause at height. So I have a few settings that show up here, take a look at them. I would like to pause at a layer number. You can also select height, but in this case we'll go with layer number. Remember how I said I'd like to pause at layer 70, so this is where I will change that value. And it says, enter the number of the last layer you want to finish prior to the pause. So what this means is layer 70 will fully print and then the print will pause where I'm able to then drop the magnets in. So I'm going to leave every other setting just how it is and hit close. And so by doing so, I now have a little plugin show up right here where it says my active post-processing scripts is pause at height. So now I have successfully programmed a pause at layer 70. Let's just double check it actually did add a layer height pause. So I'm going to rename my g-code file to a text file so that I can open it in notepad. I believe the M code is M0 so we'll look for that. We have successfully programmed a pause. Looking at the g-code we have M0 which appears after layer 70. I know it's after because if I scroll... Oh interesting, wait. Wait a minute. You just have to keep in mind the layer numbering schemes. So the very first layer in the slicer visual is considered layer one, but in the script, we see that the first printed layer is layer zero. So when we open the G code, the first layer is layer zero, meaning because I put 70 here in my script, I will be pausing after layer 69 in here because the numbering system starts at zero. So I can go ahead and find layer 69. So here we have layer 69. Layer 69 will fully print. And then my pause script is inserted. I also made this graphic to help visualize what I'm talking about. All right, let's explore how to do a filament change in Cura Slicer. So in this case, I can remove my pause at height script by clicking X and I'll go ahead and load in another file. I've chosen my water bomb base fold. This file is also on Thingiverse if you'd like to experiment with 3D printed origami. A two material print. So I'll hit slice to be able to check out which layer I'd like to add a filament change to. So in this case, I'm thinking of changing the filament at layer 3. So I'll go back into extensions, post-processing, modify g-code, and add a script. And in this case, I will hit filament change. I need to specify which layer my material change will occur at. This will be before the layer starts printing. So if I, so if I write layer 3, you will be prompted to change the filament on your printer before layer 3 gets printed. And I can specify more than one material change with a comma in between. So if I wanted to change a material at layer three and at layer five, how I would do that is three comma five. But in this case, I only want to do a material change once at layer three, so that's what I will put. Then I will hit close and I'll hit reslice again. And my little script button here shows that my active script is for a filament change. What I'm not a huge fan of in Kira Slicer in comparison to Prusa and Bamboo Studio is that when you do a pause or a color change, it doesn't visually show you the layer you added it at. So I may or may not have chosen the wrong layer and I really won't know until I print the part. 
Now that I've saved the G-code file, I will go ahead and rename it to a text file and search for the M600 command, which is the material change command in Merlin. And would you look at that? Begin filament change plugin. So I believe why it says layer two over here, even though I specified layer three, is because the plugin considers the first layer to be zero. So considering that zero, one, two is the third layer of the print. So definitely keep that deviation in mind when using these plugins in Cura. So that is how you program print pauses and material changes in Bamboo Studio, Prusa Slicer, and Cura Slicer. If I missed anything, feel free to let me know in the comments for other viewers and for myself.